This video will cover a number of guidelines and sterile techniques. You should follow these sterile techniques to maintain surgical asepsis in the operating room. Sterile people are gowned and gloved. Once gowned and gloved, sterility is limited to the gowned portions directly viewed by the person scrubbed. This means that only the front of the gown, from the chest to table level, and from the hands to the elbow, are sterile. When standing in the OR, you should have your hands in front of you, where you can see them. It is acceptable to cross your hands and rest them on your chest when not assisting with the procedure. You may not touch any part of your head, your back, or your arm above the elbow, no matter how itchy they may be. Despite draping, tables are sterile only at or above table level. If an object falls below this level, it has been contaminated. Therefore, do not pick it up. Sterile persons may only touch sterile items or areas. If a sterile person touches an unsterile object, that person has been contaminated and must immediately remove him or herself from the sterile field. A common mistake is to touch the light handles before sterile covers have been placed over them. If unsterile, do not reach over sterile surfaces. Try to remain at least one foot away from the sterile field at all times. When draping, drape towards yourself first. This will prevent you from reaching over an unsterile area. The edges of packages enclosing sterile contents are unsterile. The sterile field should be created as close as possible to the time of use. Keep the sterile field in view at all times. This will prevent you from accidentally backing or bumping into the field and contaminating it. When moving past another scrubbed person, pass them either back to back or front to front. This is to avoid contaminating one another by touching the sterile front and non-sterile back of your gowns. Note that back to back is preferable when near the sterile field and that front to front is preferable when away from the field. And whatever you do, don't touch the scrub nurse's tray.